explain the messages today from Samantha about how upset she is at Paula's lies. Samantha Markle, um, I'm, not, I'm not really... In you know, I thought that after what we just watched, I thought that this community would just behave in a different way. Um, I never thought I'd say, please let me enjoy my cancer. I never thought I'd say um, my radiation treatments are less brutal than what I'm watching happening right now. I, I'm sorry if my voice is bad, but I've been told that because of the radiation treatments, my voice changes. I don't know if that's true. Mm -hmm. But uh, I never thought that after what Steph the alternate and Sue Smith did or tried to do to me, that we had learned a lesson. It is unbelievable what I watched yesterday. I was taking my radiation treatments. And of course, I get messages. I get messages. I get things. And I'm like, no, no, it can't be. So because I don't take clips from people, I always ask, send me the link. Now, and this is where things really upset me. Megan Small is a wonderful lady. And I'm not saying it because she's a friend of mine. She has shown to be a friend of mine in hard times when people were trying to take me down. Because I get it. I am not funny in how I present my, 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 my videos. I get that. I have a way of presenting. Sometimes I get very passionate. It could be my background. You know, I'm Latina. I'm, I'm from former Yugoslavia. I'm, I mean, I, there's a lot of mix here. And I'm very passionate about the topics I talk. And I understand that it might put people off. I do have cancer. I'm not playing the cancer card. But what I'm saying is it's giving me a different perspective, especially after what Steph the Alter nerd and the harassment I suffered at the hands for months. Because that didn't start with that live. If you think that that started with the live, I have news for you. Sue Smith and Steph the Alter nerd and other YouTubers have been trashing my channel and people who come to my channel. I brought winning communication to my channel and I had him because I thought, you know, for me, it's not a matter of, oh, they're big YouTubers. I don't care. I love Lady Latisha. I love everybody. I'm not a big YouTuber. But my idea is that Megan is such a powerful woman in the sense that she has a powerful family backing her. I don't know if you know this, but I was at US Weekly. Remember I did that video on US Weekly? It's one of the highest watch videos that they have, interviews that they have. Yet they refuse to have me back over because of Meghan Markle, because Meghan Markle is friends with people like U.S. Weekly. So as Mexiteers, YouTubers, it is hard for us to get other platforms like mainstream media platforms to host us and have us there. So you understand that we're going up against a huge animal, which is Rachel Meghan Markle, not because she is powerful or because she is this or that. No, not because of that. Um, but because of who she's backed by. You know, to me, it's incredible. People, this is not 2018 when people didn't know who she was or 2017 or 2019 or 2021 when she lied on Oprah. And pretty much tried to disgrace and embroil the entire monarchy in the United Kingdom. They portray them as a racist nation, racist family, racist institution. Are people racist in some instances? Absolutely. There's racism everywhere. There's racism everywhere. So to me, at least to me, the idea of getting up as many of us who share our, we may disagree in certain things or how we present our, our, our topics and our channel, but we have a goal in common, which is to expose the lies and a powerful and, a, and an insignificant malignant person in an institution, in a powerful institution. And because of her place in that institution, she has a huge reach. We saw that with Pierce Morgan. We we saw that, that she was interviewed with by Oprah Winfrey. And we saw the backlash. I've been to Barbados four times. I have two very good friends of mine who live there. One of them, she has a doctorate. And I'm, the reason why I'm giving you this background is because this lady who's incredibly educated, black, married to a black man, very prominent, she defends Meghan Markle. And she's from Barbados, and she's not the only one. I have a Latino background. I am Canadian. I am from the Commonwealth. Um, I abhor censorship. I really don't like censorship. And one of the things that I got from Steph, the alternate, and, and Sue Smith, that they went and they used the, their platforms 
to call me a liar while they were lying on the live, trying to tell people that asking for a copy of a birth certificate is a criminal activity. I don't know why they did it. I don't know if they wanted to put people off. Asking for real documentation like I do, I don't understand. But I, I they sent me the whole thing because I don't watch Leilani or Barbados, guys. I really don't. Um, not Nothing against her. I don't have the time. I really don't have the time, guys. And believe you me, like, and cancer has put a different perspective. I'm sorry if I get emotional. I'm just very tired. I'm tired all the time. So when I saw what Le Leilani, Leilani, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, I hope I'm not butchering it. Um, she has a way of putting out her videos. She comments about the Sussexes and any other things that she wants to comment because that is her platform. However, she did use, she did like a 19 minute video yesterday and she used a large portion of it to trash Megan Small. Let me tell you something. If somebody, I, I as a YouTuber, I get sent clips, I get sent this and I always ask people and people, you can call me a liar. Please, I ask you to call me a liar. People send me clips and I said, can you please send me the link so I can watch the video before I make a comment? Because I'm a grown woman. I am aware that in spite of the fact that my platform is small, I do have a responsibility and I do have some people following me. Um, I never get credited. I barely ever get credited about my content used by other people. Okay. Dan Wooden uses, has used four times stuff that is mine, never credits me. And, you know, just to give you an example, this is Leilani's video. Okay, I'm going to play a little bit of this and you watch it because you're about to see something there that it's mine. There. That is one of my videos that she's using the clip or the thumbnail for. She didn't say, go watch Paula, go watch her video. It's very informative like she did with Sue Smith. To me, Sue Smith and Steph are liars and bullies. And I don't align myself with liars and bullies because Sue Smith claims to be a registered nurse. A registered nurse would know the difference between a what's public uh, HIPAA information of a medical, I think that's what it calls in the United States, and public records. So if a registered nurse does not know the difference and, and is willing to go on a more major platform, because Steph the alternate is backed by Popcorn pa Planet and Palace. And then she goes and lies and says that she sent gifts to her, to Megan's small little kid, which is another lie. She has been contacting people. I told you at the beginning that I have winning communication here with me. I've had uh, Jen from Real Housewives. I've had the Sidley Twins. The Sidley Twins to my recollection, have never invited me to their channel. So when they faced the backlash from having Sue Smith after the live they did with her, the video, I don't even know. They said, oh, Paul is always welcome in, in our channel. Well, they never invited me as far as I remember. And when I invited them for the third time, they were in my channel once, I brought them onto the Royal Mess. And then when I invited them to come back again, they blew me off. They blew me off and they can, they can say, well, I have the messages, guys. Winning Communication, a lovely man. I saw his channel, I liked him, and I said, hey, do you want to come on my channel? After that, he's been attacked and told not to have me on his channel, or people troll him every time. People were very happy when I brought him in, but then we have this machine, and I know that they did that because they did that with Tina. I brought Tina because I am a victim victim and survivor of horrible domestic violence, guys. I had my, my skull screen cracked 14, like with 14 inches, it still itches and hurts here. Broken bones, broken lips. And so and on TikTok, when I had Tina there, I was like, oh my God. And she talks about domestic violence. You really, I, that's, I, I follow her. I'm a huge fan of Tina. So I brought her on. And when then, as soon as I brought her on my live and I had her there with me, this group of people, a certain group of YouTubers in the Mexican community reached out to her to have her the very next day. I didn't tell Tina, oh, don't go there because they're mean and blah, blah, blah. I didn't say, I said to her, I'm happy for you because you get to spread your message in other platforms, which is ultimately my goal. I never told her, don't go to Ad Garner, don't go to Trevor Colt, he's, a, he's whatever. I didn't say anything like that. Yet after the live and during the live, she found out what they wanted for. They wanted to use her and they told her point blank not to come with me anymore, to join them. I don't even know what the hell that is. 
but for the past six months, my channel, and you guys know that I have my channel for four years. I have never been targeted so much with hatred as, I've, as it started six months ago until it culminated in that live. So when I see Leilani of Lailani, I don't know how to pronounce her name, and I hope I apologize if it is. Yesterday, she spent almost seven minutes trashing Megan Small the way she runs her channel the topics that she should talk about, about Barbados not being this, Barbados not being that, that she shouldn't be talking about Barbados because she's not from Barbados, saying that that Megan Small sounds obviously Canadian. That is a blatant lie. I am Canadian, and yes, I do have an accent. I lived in Canada. I studied in Canada. Canadians, we didn't know. I was shocked when she said she was from Canada, or she's not even from Canada. FYI, she's not white. Okay. So to me, I'm, I was like, what the hell is going on here? Are we really back here again? And then she goes on to say that, you know, like, oh, you know, like she hasn't been, so she should stop. She should stop talking about it. She didn't. First of all, Megan Small was not criticizing her channel. She was talking about something that really happened. And let me, you know, for those of you who don't understand it, I mean, it is it is very, very terrible what happened. I mean, I kid, I kid you not, when Meghan Markle did that Oprah interview, which was, it had horrible consequences for the royal family. This is this is the Barbados today. Harry, Meghan, and the, and the, and the monarchy. This is in 1103-2021. Oprah Winfrey CBS interview with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was very revealing, according to MSNBC report, just over 17.1 1, million person. It served to convince me more than ever that the Barbados government plan to adopt Republican status is the correct move. I mean, I'm not going to bore you because there's so many articles. If I, if I remember correctly, Prince William and Princess Catherine went to, I, I don't know if it was Jamaica, and the mayor or the prime minister used that opportunity to shame them publicly or to try to shame them, say, oh, we're getting the hell out of here. I don't speak on behalf of all Latinos. I don't speak on behalf of all Canadians. I don't speak on behalf of all Norwegians. I have those three nationalities. I give my opinion, but I cannot, I am not going to be a narcissist and say that all of Latin America doesn't like Meghan Markle. No, it is my opinion and some like-minded people. But that's about it. So I was, I was so sad, guys. It was so sad to watch what she did, to use her huge platform to punch down on a, a smaller YouTuber and criticize the way she runs. Oh, she doesn't show her face. Well, fine. So does HG Tutor. So does Royal Grift. So does our, uh, our recollections may our recollections may vary. And everybody, the very same people leaving nasty comments about Megan Small not showing her face are the very same people who go and, and leave glowing comments at the Royal Grift at HG Tutor. Our recollections may vary. And censoring, trying to say we can't speak about Barbados because that's her market. Fine. I mean, that is insane. So we can't speak about Meghan Markle at all because we're not in Montecito. We're not royal. This is what we do with our platforms. And the most responsible thing for, for her to have done, and I can't be in her shoes, but when people send me clips of things, I always ask for for the whole link. And if they can't send it, I try to find it or I dismiss the person because I'm not going to use my platform like that. Now, lie number one, lie number one, that she didn't know who Megan Small was. It is my opinion that, of course, she does know who Megan Small was, but she chose to say she didn't know who she was. So that way she can say, oh, I didn't know who she was, therefore I didn't know how to contact her to ask her about this. Number two, why not, when you get a clip like that, as a responsible grown adult, you go and look, you grow and look, oh, can you send me the link? And you, t you read the whole thing. And you listen to the whole thing. So to me, that leads to bad intentions. Number three, Megan Small was horribly bullied as a child. To me, and I, I, I've always said I've been very popular in my high school, so I never suffered bullying until I got to Norway. <laughs> and I got, until I got into them, I don't even call bullying, you know, like, except Steph the alternate and Steph what they did. That wasn't thing. And they didn't even apologize. They haven't taken it back. And people are still giving these two liars and two bullies platform. And I wonder, and as I said in my life, and I'm not rehashing this, guys, but it's just so sad to see what happened yesterday. Because people were leaving vile comments about Megan Small. And, and 
unsubscribing from her channel, from her hard work. People are trying to tell us or censor us. Oh, you can't talk about this because you're not from here. Well, these people also talk about other things from there. So the mo so she didn't reach out because her, to me, her intention was never to reach out. The intention for some reason was to disparage Megan Small. And I feel sad about that because I thought that after Steph the Alternate and Sue Smith, after what happened, that we would do better. And then this morning, while I'm getting my radiation treatment again, I get another link to Leilani's thing, to a video where she goes on and trashes Megan Small, the entire video. That wasn't an apology. That wasn't a misunderstanding. And now you remember who Megan Small was, that you always embrace this community. No, you don't. For disclaimer, I sent a long time ago when Leilani was a very small channel. I sent her an email saying, hey, and I was a small channel too. I am still a small channel. Hey, why don't you come and join us? She didn't even bother to respond, say, no, thank you. I'd rather do my thing. She didn't even bother to respond. Maybe the email went to her spam. I don't know. <laughs> But, and I don't hold a grudge against her, but when I saw that, so she did know, lie number one, in my um, opinion, she knows who Megan Small is. Because today she says, oh, if I had been told that that was Megan Small, you knew Megan Small too. Two, you get a clip sent, you chose not to look at the entire thing. Number three, even without looking at the entire thing, that video yesterday did not make any sense. I, I don't get it. Because the entire world, number four, did react badly towards the monarchy after Meghan Markle and Oprah interview. Number five, Meghan Small is entitled to express her opinion just like you are, just like I am. In spite of the Mexi some Mexiteers, YouTubers are hell-bent on shutting us down and telling us what we can talk and not talk about in our channels. I am trying to re re recall a moment when I have told a Mexiteer or anybody else for that matter what they should or how they should run their channel. Even now, I'm not telling Leilani how to run her channel, but I'm saying that it was a very nasty thing to do. It was a very mean girl thing to do. And the video she posted today, laughing, mocking the, about the fact that she had caused damage. She has caused damage because I was reading, after they sent me the link, I was reading the comments. And the very same people were leaving really nasty comments about Megan Small based on a lie because or misinformation or misunderstanding that she chose to say or use to disparage another YouTuber in the Mexican community, whilst praising a known bully to me and a liar, while praising. So she does watch. Another thing she says that she doesn't watch other YouTubers. Lie number, I don't know what, how many lies she said there. Because she, at the very beginning, I just showed you that she used a thumbnail from my video. So she does watch my channel. So she does watch other YouTubers. She has, I think, spoken about other YouTubers in the past. She has used, she's used a couple of my clips in the past and she has never credited me. So that thing when she says that she rightly credits other YouTubers, she didn't. In that video yesterday, she didn't credit me. She didn't say, oh, by the way, go watch Paula Ames, but she used my thumbnail. And she endorses a known bully. That's her right. But I'm just so saddened by all of this because I thought we were past this. I thought we were better than that. And yes, I am gonna talk about Barbados, whether Meghan Markle goes to Barbados, whether Meghan Markle goes to Jamaica, uh, whether she goes to Nigeria, whether she goes back to Colombia, whether she goes back to Botswana, whether she's in Montecito. I'm gonna talk about real crime. I'm gonna talk to them about domestic violence anywhere in the world, because this is why we have this platform. And it's really, really interesting how certain YouTubers never apologize. They never apologize. They double down in the abuse and the bullying or the misinformation. And instead of saying, you know what? It was my bad. I should have actually listened to the entire video before I trashed this woman. I take it all back. She wasn't trashing us. How do you know she hasn't been to Barbados? I've been to Barbados four times. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. And as I said, my friend who has a doctorate, lives in Barbados, is very prominent in the Barbados community. She loves Meghan Markle. And her and I, we have usually have discussions about it. I've tried to convince her to come on my channel to tell me why. And her group of friends love Meghan Markle. So the entire Barbados island, you know, country, the, they don't all hate Meghan Markle. It's 2024, and we still have people defending Meghan Markle. 
Meghan Markle manages to get YouTubers banned from mainstream media like US Weekly or other, other left-leaning people. People Magazine will never have us. I was there and you can go Google me on US Weekly and you will find me there. You will see that. And if you look at the views that they have compared to what they get, they got a lot of views and a lot of positive comments. And they still refuse now to have me back because, of course, they're pro Meghan Markle thing. And I'm sure she gave her instructions. How did you have that woman there? Blah, blah, blah. Or P. Dinah. I think P. Dinah was there too. So I believe that we have, there's enough issues going on. But I don't understand this cancer in the Mexican community. I really don't get it. I really, really don't get it, guys. Um, and it's a sad thing that this is happening again. It is a sad thing that some of you choose to ignore or to trash Megan Small because she doesn't show her face. Now she's been criticized for that. And from what I took from watching the whole video, she was angry or upset or laughing that Megan Small would have the nerve to tell her how to run her channel. She just did that yesterday. Why are we back here after that live? And again, the very same people involved. You may agree or disagree with me, but I think it's time we grew up. I never thought I'd say cancer is fun compared to what we, I'm watching. Please leave me your comments.